This is a short tutorial about Prague Maring course. Once you are at Prague Maring website, you just click to Prague Maring course and you come to the Prague Maring course section. Here is a short explanation about Prague Maring e-learning and e-assessment. To enter the course, just press enter. If this is your first time here, then you have to create new account. Creating a new account is very easy. You just choose your username and password, enter a few more details, and after creating your account, you get an email for self-registration. At that email, you get the link to actually confirm your email to be entered to enter the website with your credentials. Let's enter the course now. I will enter the course as a student. After login, I actually reach the practical and communication based maritime English course. You may notice that the Prague Maring course is actually hosted at the Moodle platform as it is widely used and you actually already know how to use it. But let's have a look on how to navigate through course. On the left hand side you have the site area with main sections. There are actually nine main sections and then some extra ones. While in the middle you have the whole course. So all the resources which take part of this course. You can easily navigate to one sections by clicking on the left sidebar on specific topic. Once you enter a resource, let's click on one, let's say what means deck you get to the resource, you can read it and you can actually then jump to the next or to the previous sections. Once you read the resource, your resource will be marked as already completed. By pressing Prague Maring, so to go to the initial screen, we can have a look about the this column where all the resources already read are marked as completed, and also the resource deck, which we read just before, was marked as completed. But you have also quizzes in these resources. Let's take one of them. When you enter a quiz, you should click on the attempt quiz now. And once you are in, you just answer on questions. I won't try to be right this time and then you press finish attempt. Answer is now saved. You can return back or you can submit all and finish. And then you get your result immediately 
after finishing your attempt. Again, as before, we can go to the Prague Marine course to the really beginning of the course or to section number three. In the Prague Marine course, they are used variety of question types as drag and drop, matching, multi choice, short answer, true, false, a select missing word, etc. But in some questions or quizzes, you could be even asked to listen to something, like here. Then you should listen to a passage and then attempting the quiz. This quiz is composed by many questions. And you can see here that you have on the right hand side the quiz navigation. So if you answer here and press next, you see that the first question is marked as already answered. You can then go on any question as you wish and again answer and if there are any questions unanswered then you can go back but if you just go forward with the next page you will definitely go through all the questions. Let's have a look on our search engine. Here you have the search engine and in the search engine you can actually search on relevant resources for different type of ships, different positions, different CFR levels and also the language skill. So if I tick here, let's say I'm only interested in resources related to container ships and also uh, suitable for master ship officers of let's say intermediate level, I then press search and get all relevant resources and I can then tick to any one of them and read them or solve them if they are quizzes as mentioned before. Let's have a look on course completion test. You can get your completion certificate but you have to spend at least seven days in roles on our platform for you to have the necessary time to study the content and you should then pass the course completion test by at least 70%. So if we enter the course completion test, here is written that you will have to answer 25 multiple choice questions by only one answer correct and your time limit is 30 minutes. And I will now reattempt the quiz because you can reattempt the quiz as many times as you wish. But there are so many questions in the question pool that it won't happen to you that you will get uh, the same questions at your next attempt. So I will start the very new attempt. You will see that you have here uh, the time left stated and you have now questions five per page. So these are first five uh, but you have them 25. So when you actually answer to the first five you can then make progress to the next five and so on until you answer to all questions. Before you finish the attempt you can have a look once again if there is still some time left. So if you pass the course completion test by at least 70% then here you can get 
your completion certificate. And your completion certificate looks like this. So there is your name and surname and also the date of its issue. For the end, I'd wish you successful and enjoyable learning at Prague Mar Inc. course and hopefully at the end you are going to obtain uh, this certificate of completion. Thank you.